Hey everyone, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic and I'm here today with the Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout Set. For this video, we're going to be kind of doing a little bit of a uh, unboxing review per usual. We'll also be doing some comparisons, especially with the Baryonyx itself as that's a, uh, a figure that has a few other versions, but there's a couple other things in here that I want to take a look at as well. But yes, the Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout Set. Um, very cool play set, uh, very cool packaging, love the presentation, uh, but everything inside it really isn't anything original, um, except for one little thing, which we'll get to. Um, but I still think it's a really cool play set, especially when you take a look at it in the box. But of course, like all of our toy reviews here, we'll be opening the toy to actually get a better look at it. So we can go ahead and get started, but let's just take a quick overview of the box itself. Um, you do have the uh, kind of renders on the back that actually look really nice and crisp, but usually don't look quite like the toys inside, but still worth noting that they're on there. And then of course, um, the, the front of the box with the window lets you see everything inside. But I'm go ahead and take my trusty knife out here and go ahead and open this up and we'll talk a little bit about uh, the availability of this set and all that as we kind of suffer through me exacto knife in these box tape openings so yeah this set became available on walmart.com uh i think a few days ago actually and that's after not knowing anything about it and uh before we san diego comic con so we basically found out about this toy and then we're able to order it within a week which is kind of uh kind of humorous but also a nice welcome surprise. Uh, so yeah, if you actually want to buy this toy, you can uh, check the link in the show notes to order your own. If you're in the U.S., it's at walmart.com. But um, let's get back to the actual toys themselves. Looks like got it out of the box here. We're going to take away the uh, the paper element, the carbon element. Ooh, I like this, though. I might just keep this for a nice little figure display. So bonus. This is a really nice uh, cardboard insert. I really like this. But... <laughs> Enough about the packaging. Back to the toy. Everything's stuck in plastic right now. Looks like we have some instructions on how to, uh, you know, work the toy, put things together. But um, I'm kind of a professional here, so I'm going to go ahead and put those aside. I think I know what I'm doing pretty well. Um, but yeah, what should we get out first? Let's go ahead and get out the Compies and Dimorphodon, because those aren't anything too groundbreaking here. Comstignathus, um, you know, these guys are literally the same kind that were with the Legacy figures as well as a Coles pack, I think they ran in a Target, uh, like multi-figure pack, but more compies. Um, but, you know, you can never get enough compies in my opinion. It's nice to have a huge pack of those. Um, I think my numbers are up to like a dozen now. So what's a couple more, right? Um, Dimorphodon on here, go ahead and get this one out. I like this darker color. Now, this Dimorphodon is actually not a original sculpt. We do have another Dimorphodon from the um, early released Mercenary figure. I also think there's a Dimorphodon you can get in the miniature blind bags that matches this sculpt. But um, for this set, the figure that comes with is this nice gray color. Looks nice, might even look nice next to the bigger gray ones. It's sort of just a, a smaller version of the Dimorphodon. So nice little miniature dinos that came with this one. Um, I think next we'll go ahead and get uh, some of these accessories out along with Owen, how about? So start with this uh, armor over here. This armor is going to be the same as the Raptor Trainer Owen. Um, figure that we've all seen on shelves over and over and over again. And I think now is as good a time as any to talk talk about the inclusion of the Owen figure itself in this set. I think a lot of us were hoping for, um, you know, probably a different figure than Owen. Literally anybody but Owen. Um, Owen has been on the store shelves forever. Uh, this blue shirt version has been in so many different uh, releases so far. I can say he's been with, um, let's see, he's been by himself as Raptor Trainer. He's been in the Cole set that I mentioned earlier. And he's been in the, um, I'm blanking right now, but I know he's been in at least a couple other sets. So this is like our fourth or fifth time getting an Owen figure like this. Um, but, uh, you know, it would have been nice to get um, a, mer a mercenary or a repainted mercenary or Claire or even that Barry figure we're still, um, you know, holding out for. So, uh, but here he is, Owen, blue shirt, nothing special. Comes with his Raptor trainer armor, but he does come with this um, nice motorcycle helmet, which uh, is a new piece to this set, all new piece. 
Um, pretty cool. Reminds me a lot of the Lost World uh, Kenner motorcycle figure. Uh, that helmet didn't come off, but um, this one does. Go ahead and fit it over his face there. He's looking like a motocross Owen already. All right, let's go ahead and get his armor on. I guess I probably should have put the chest piece on before I put the helmet. Get your head in the game here, Tim. It's not like you haven't put this Owen armor on a million times. So we'll go ahead and put that that piece on him first. Then we'll put the helmet on. Now he's looking like a real motocross. And I think these things go on his forearms, if I remember correctly. And now he's all ready to go. And what is he ready to go do? He's ready to go ride his motorcycle, of course. Um, and that is the other kind of really cool, unique piece in this set, um, is the motorcycle. So uh, let's take a look at that. Very nice. Um, the first thing I noticed in the box was that it has some Jurassic emblems um, on the front and on the side of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, you know, from viewers at home if you think this looks cheap, but it's a pretty solid toy. It's not like it, uh, you know, has a bunch of loose pieces. It doesn't feel like those cheaper Walmart core figures that um, the motorcycles literally weigh like an ounce. Like this thing is, um, this thing feels like it's somewhat... Um, got some weight to it I'm trying to figure out right now if this kickstand it's got is is got a it's adjustable it looks like it is because it's on a pin but i'm kind of like weary to do it on video no it looks like it moves but mine's not moving very very uh very easily so i'm just gonna leave it um i might <laughs> i might try it later off camera i don't want to break it on camera but it does look like it is supposed to kick back oh yeah there it goes see just needs a little bit of a little bit of force so now it's kind of kicked back a little bit more then the wheels obviously are going to turn because it's a motorcycle and then it's got a nice pivot too um different paint on the seat which i think is really nice as well as these other plastic elements that bring a different color then the headlight is actually clear plastic too which i think kind of adds a sense of realism to this but um yeah kind of cool it's not like owen's bike but it's kind of like a jurassic capture bike which i kind of appreciate that element to it it's like maybe something they used in the park it wasn't just owen's personal bike but maybe it was some sort of gallimimus wrangler vehicle so um you know that's kind of my spin on why it looks like this why it has the jurassic branding but yeah he fits right on there i mean obviously these figures are uh, the great thing about Mattel human figures is that they're very poseable, so they didn't need to make like a special motorcycle version of Owen who could ride a motorcycle. This figure just just does it. So um, there he is. I'm going to put the kickstand back down so this stands up for the review. Um, but there he is on his motorcycle. Uh, I just remembered that, that we got a blue shirt Owen with the ATV set. So we've already got a blue shirt Owen in a small accessory vehicle. Um, but yeah, that's Owen. Looking good on his motorcycle. Looks like he's got quite a few other accessories in here too that we'll go ahead and get out. Um, start off with this data pad. Nice little uh, handheld computer. Same computer that came with the Claire release. Um, for the figure, the standalone first figure for Claire came with a little data pad like this. So same exact item here. Nice little accessory to get again though. Then over here, we have a little tiny hunting knife that it's probably very easy to to lose it does look like the same sorry you can barely see this on camera it's like the size of a piece of rice but it looks like the same knife that comes with the other owen releases i believe it is anyway um we'll go ahead and put that on his back and the hole and then the last thing we have in here is a, a unique piece that is this hunting rifle that looks a lot like owen's rifle um you know, in Jurassic World, the first movie. So that's definitely kind of a, a unique accessory to come out of this kit is a is a rifle. Um, we don't have a lot of like tiny scale weapons for uh, Jurassic World characters from Mattel. So it's a nice little touch in here. And one thing I found out, um, and I want to thank Victoria for showing me this because I would not have known, is that the rifle actually fits right in the motorcycle. So check that out. Thanks, Victoria. Victoria's Canteen on YouTube. Uh, I would not have known that if you hadn't sent me a picture that it does that. So pretty cool. Owen's driving. He can whip out his rifle one-handed and, I guess, uh, assassinate some dinosaurs. Um, that's kind of cool. Packs it right in there. Um, last human accessory, of course, is this flare. Let's bust it out of there. All right. 
There's the flare. So this flare is the same flare that uh, came with Ian Malcolm in the Legacy Collection. So um, nice again to see it here. I think all these accessories that came with this are just kind of cool to get doubles of, like the um, the data pad, for instance. This flare is nice to have a second one of. And then, uh, you know, compies and stuff. Again, I mentioned you can never have enough compies. So I think if you're going to add a bunch of stuff to a, uh, a pack that's strictly repacks, this these aren't bad choices, honestly. Um, but uh, enough with Owen and the little dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and get the main event out, which is the Baryonyx, the battle damage Baryonyx. And if you're wondering what's battle damage about this Baryonyx, don't think that is... His, uh, you know, arms pop off, or he's got a giant, giant flap that comes down on one side of him. No, he's got the, uh, the nail polish battle damage, as we call it. Uh, Super Colossal T-Rex had this. Uh, Extreme Chomp and T-Rex had this at Walmart. Their battle damage versions just had red paint on them didn't have you know any other kind of battle damage feature they literally just had um some paint on them so interesting but uh kind of a low effort way to do it but it also doesn't mess up what's an awesome baryonyx figure um let me go ahead and get the tail in <laughs> i think that's the right way ah snapped in there uh, awesome. So, uh, this version of Baryonyx doesn't have electronics. It's kind of like the, uh, well, we'll talk about comparisons here in a second with the Baryonyx, but overall, I think this is a very cool looking figure. Um, the paint scheme is, uh, you know, it's a little different than the others, but, uh, I think overall, um, you know, what, what's wrong with getting another Baryonyx, right? Um, I think that this one has the bright colored snout too, which kind of makes it in line with all the others, makes it feel like it's part of the same species. But let's go ahead and clear off uh, Owen and accessories and talk a little bit more about um, some of these other Baryonyxes that we can compare this to. And a segment that I'm calling Comparionyx. That's right, Comparionyx. So main reason I wanted to do this video is so I could use that word. But here we have all four, go ahead and get him in frame, all four of Mattel's Baryonyx figure releases. Um, starting with the very first one, which is the Roar of Roar version, obviously has uh, roars it can do, um, has the reflective blue snout. Then next you have the Lava Surge version. Now this version is very similar to this new packed uh, Baryonyx in that it doesn't have any electronics. It just has the biting motion. So that brings us to the uh, the one we're talking about in this set of the Baryonyx Breakout. Same thing, doesn't have uh, electronics, um, but does have uh, the action feature still. And then of course has that nail polish on the leg and the neck and I think that's it. Yeah, he's been spared on one side. Only received battle damage on the one side. The side that faces uh, the packaging window, naturally. Um, and then we have the uh, Roarivores Redo. Uh, also has um, electronic roar like the first release. Um, very different coloration than these other three. Um, these three very much feel like they could be part of like a... Uh, a pack whereas um that one feels like kind of its own thing but i actually really like this coloration i love the yellow snout um so i appreciate the diversity there but there's something cool about these three kind of feeling a little bit more matchy matchy um yeah this is all four of the Brayonyx releases uh, a couple things uh their eyes are uh these three's eyes are very much all the same paint um, application with yellow with black dot, whereas this one's a little bit more of just a black iris painted on the head. So again, making these three feel very much like they're the same again. But um, yeah, nice to get another Baryonyx in the mix for sure. Um, and it obviously is a great addition to this Walmart exclusive set. What good's a motorcycle if you don't if you can't run away from something? Um, in this case, running away from a charging Baryonyx, uh, who has found his way into some nail polish. Um, Got to get away from him. Uh, but got some other dinosaurs too to kind of complete your complete your play. Um, and of course, you got that data pad too. So uh, yeah, overall, this is the whole set unboxed. 
and um, we can go ahead and talk about it for a little bit just in general terms. I know a lot of people are really, uh, you know, hoping for more human figures in the Jurassic line, and that's definitely something I could make a whole separate video about. Um, the, the want for figures, the reason why Mattel probably isn't doing them, the reason they probably should still keep trying to do them, but this set kind of meets uh, somewhere in that um, in that need where we're getting humans out, but we're doing it with dinosaurs, um, and we're doing it however we can. In this case, packing it with a bunch of repacks, repack accessories, um, repainting a dinosaur, but the motorcycle being all new is kind of a, a cool draw to add to the human figure. So um, I'm glad that this, if this is the only way human figures can come out, I think this set was, uh, you know, I think this set was a success. Uh, again, all the accessories that come with it are worth owning twice, with the exception of a blue shirt at all, and I did not need him, but in the end, he's so covered up by armor and a and a helmet you really can't tell it's Owen but um, other than that I think if they'd put a mercenary in here this would have been like a plus for me um, I'm gonna give it an a minus for or maybe a B plus no I'm gonna be generous and say a minus for including the blue shirt Owen but all the other things another Dimorphodon in a different colorway more copies for the compi pack and um, some little cool accessories like a flare an original rifle and a data pad all make this Part that isn't part of the dinosaur set very cool and obviously the motorcycle and the baryonyx are um, really the main things that i really like about this set nice to get a baryonyx in a slightly different colorway but one that still kind of aligns with uh the other baryonyxes that have been released so far so yeah overall great set again it's 20 dollars on walmart.com the link is in the show notes if you want to grab one for yourself i personally recommend it for 20 bucks you get a bunch of cool accessories get another dinosaur and you get this motorcycle which is great for other human figures if you choose not to do uh the blue shirt i want on it so i think that about does it for this little review and toy comparison video um again always as always Check CollectJurassic.com for more news. Got a lot of stuff up there from San Diego Comic Con that you should definitely check out. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>